We're starting a new job here today. We're going to replace this old timber wall. It's starting to fail, it's pushing, and uh, we're going to take this out and we're going to replace it with a techo block, semi wall, and chestnut brown. So we're going to get started. We just removed the timber wall and we pulled out some of the plants that were above it. Now what we have to do is excavate this soil back four feet from the face of the wall. That's going to allow enough room for us to put in our geogrid. This is, a, this is a stone foundation here. It's kind of jagged. At some point in this house's history, there must have been a foundation here that was removed, or maybe this was the original retaining wall. But the, the homeowners are living with this, and it's actually attached to the foundation of the house. So what we're going to do is after we bring our new wall into this point, we're going to go over this with a, with a, a cement parge to, to clean up the front of this wall. just finished the excavation of our trench for our wall. We're down about a foot below the, uh, the pavement. Uh, we used the laser to shoot it so that we knew right where we had to be the whole way. And that's going to allow for a, a nice even layer of uh, crushed stone. But before we put our crushed stone in the trench, we're going to put this, this uh, woven geotextile fabric at the bottom. This is going to create a, a nice separation, like a membrane, that's going to uh, separate the subsoil from our crushed stone. It's going to prevent any settling and mixing. Uh, the area right here um, where this old stone foundation is, there's a couple void spaces. And uh, this is going to help to seal that off so, so over time nothing settles in those holes. Um, and while this trench is open, we're going to extend this downspout. It comes out the front of the house, in front of this, the porch here. Uh, that was originally piped out this way, just dumping above the old wall and uh, the water was going down behind the wall, causing pushing. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, put in a pipe, we're gonna pipe that down behind the wall and, and, and have it spill out the face of the wall. Up to this point, we have the crushed stone in the trench. We've laid our base block nice and level, and we started to put our second course on top. At this point, we're going to put our geogrid, first layer of geogrid down. Um, and we have the pipe in place for the downspout.
all's going together quickly now. We've got our downspout pipe in. We have to do a little cutting around that. You can see it's right here. So we got that squared away. And uh, now it's just going up with the blocks. We, every two courses, we have to put another layer of geograde in. And uh, then we, do, we backfill with our crushed stone, another two courses, and then more geograde. So we're almost to grade now. And, uh, and then we'll be ready to, to backfill it and put on the cap. At this point, the wall is up and at grade. Uh, these are the top, we're at the top course now, so all we have left is the caps. Um, so we, we, we're starting to put the caps in place. Uh, we're, we're gonna do a little cutting. Uh, we always snap an edge on the outside here, to give it a crushed face to match the front. And uh, once they're all fitted in place, we'll uh, use our concrete adhesive and, and glue them down. Uh, the, the back filling material, we use crushed stone up to this point. We're leaving it here. Uh, so we're going to bring in some topsoil and we'll, we'll fill the rest of the way with topsoil so that you know we can uh, put some plants in or, or lawn or whatever they choose to use. up to where we got to be and now we're going to focus on uh, parging this this old stone foundation uh, this is connected to the foundation of the house and uh, we have to try to marry these two together and make it look nice so we had to do a little uh, little cutting some of the, the old stones were sticking out beyond but um, the face of the wall and this old foundation are actually lined up fairly well so I have to piece together this jagged uh, space here between the wall. Um, so I'm going to have some mortar mixed up. We're going to mortar in some pieces just to fill this. And then I'm going to go over with a, a quick setting uh, cement material to fill in all these large voids. And then we're going to parse the whole thing to make it all look nice and smooth. <laughs> 